Before joining the mysterious spy company in Amazon's new series Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Jane and John lived completely separate lives under their real identities. Donald Glover's latest series, Atlanta, Swarm, offers many of the similar aesthetics and tones found in his previous works, but never before has Glover ventured into the action genre quite like this. Mr. and Mrs. Smith is much less of a remake as it is a remix of the 2005 original starring Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. Glover created the adaptation, which currently has a 90% Rotten Tomatoes score, with fellow Atlanta writer-slash-producer Francesca Sloan. Mr. and Mrs. Smith takes the basic premise of the original movie and expands on the concept by having an emphasized focus on grounded and relatable marital issues. Both John, Donald Glover, and Jane, Maya Erskine, sign on to leave their lives behind to live a luxurious life as a legally married couple as high-risk secret agents. The espionage company, operated by an anonymous chat operator known as Hi Hi, instructs John and Jane to carry out dangerous missions for large sums of money. What's clear is that both John and Jane are highly skilled at weaponry and thinking on their feet to take out targets. What isn't fully clear, until the final episode's end credits, is who Jane and John were in their past lives. John's real name is Michael and he was kicked out of the Marines. John reveals that he was discharged for having asthma. Donald Glover's John Smith character's real name is Michael in Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Maya Erskine's Jane discovers this when she returns to their home in the season finale to find Michael's mother in their kitchen, who is played by Glover's real mom Beverly making her acting debut. Michael's mom is oblivious to her son's actual profession, but she knows of Jane as Michael's wife even though the two have never met. It's the worst possible time for Jane to meet her mother-in-law, as she and Michael are trying to kill one another, but in that moment Jane discovers a great deal about her arranged husband. While John and Jane are under the influence of the truth serum in the season finale, Michael opens up about how he was discharged from the Marines. Michael reveals that he was kicked out not for doing anything egregious, but for having asthma. Even Jane, who moments before was trying to kill her husband, told Michael that he shouldn't be so hard on himself, since that wasn't anything that he could control. While Michael is very fit in Mr. and Mrs. Smith, there are hints that he had asthma before he admits it to Jane, particularly during their extended chase-slash-fight scene in the final episode. Jane's real name is Ilana and she was rejected from the CIA. Jane admits she was discarded due to sociopathic tendencies. Similarly to Michael, Jane Smith, whose real name is Ilana, was rejected from the CIA due to reasons out of her control. While on the truth serum in the final episode of Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Ilana finally tells Michael her true identity and explains why she never got into the CIA permanently. During her initial high high intake screening in the first episode, Ilana had confessed that she didn't make it to the CIA due to antisocial tendencies. In the finale, the influence of the truth serum forces her to be more accurate, saying that the CIA had detected sociopathic tendencies in her psych evaluation, which is why she was denied admission. While Michael has a very close relationship with his mom, Ilana has no relationship with her dad, which is elaborated on during their truth serum scene. Ilana explains that she doesn't need to feel safe to be loved like Michael does and reveals that her mother died tragically, resulting in a closed casket funeral service. This might explain why Ilana and Michael have different feelings about big topics such as having kids and maintaining adult relationships with parents. Ilana had experienced more trauma in her childhood than Michael did, which may contribute to her unwillingness to depend on others or love with vulnerability. Why John and Jane's backstories made them ideal for the company's spy program. Michael and Ilana prove that opposites attract and make for long-term partnerships. Donald Glover and Maya Erskine standing looking bruised and disheveled in Mr. and Mrs. Smith Donald Glover and Maya Erskine in Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Michael and Ilana never would have been paired in the first place if the seemingly sophisticated high high system didn't believe that they were highly compatible. This idea is thwarted by their first interactions as a legally married couple, in which Michael was expecting the traditional elements of marriage to start naturally while Ilana became reclusive and uninspired by the whole ordeal, unwilling to get lost in the magic of newlywed matrimony. Ostensibly, Michael and Ilana are opposites in terms of personality and even in how they go about missions, but that in turn proves to be their strongest asset for an endured partnership. The final truth serum scene in Mr. and Mrs. Smith proves that underneath it all, Michael and Ilana are an ideal match. Both Michael and Ilana were rejected by elite institutions such as the Marines and the CIA because of parts of their character that were out of their control. Ilana's antisocial tendencies are more observable, 
while Michael reveals that the reason he was kicked out of the Marines had more to do with anxiety than asthma, which brought him great shame. The similarities of who Michael and Ilana are at their cores, skilled but slighted, formidable yet damaged, rejected but worthy, are what make them a great pair in Mr. and Mrs. Smith.